years after his wife's death, David Schmitz was just starting to piece his life back together. He'd met a woman, for one, and had recently made plans to tie the knot too. Shortly after David got engaged, however, he received an unusual phone call that rocked his world. Before we begin, if you are interested in this type of videos, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell. In January 2011, Brenda Schmidt's universe fell apart when she discovered that she was suffering from a stage 4 ovarian cancer. And tragically, the disease was terminal, meaning that she didn't have much time to spend with her four children and husband David. Indeed, while describing her diagnosis to Des Moines or a radio station star 102.5 in 2013, David said of the crushing news, Brenda was dealt with a big blow. However, rather than wasting the rest of her life being better, Brenda accepted her fate with grace. In fact, the dotting mom's biggest concern was how her family would go once she was gone. As a result, she wanted David to find happiness with someone else after her passing. She even actively encouraged him to go out looking for another woman. And while recounting a conversation he had with Brenda during her illness, David confirmed that his late wife had indeed wanted him to find someone to share his life with. He told CNN in 2013, Brenda and I talked before she passed. She told me to meet someone that would love the boys and treat them like her own. David continued, I asked her, how do I know when I met that person? Brenda said, I would know because she'd be there. With everything that was happening in David's life, though finding a new love may have been the last thing on his mind. Sadly, Brenda finally lost her battle with cancer in September 2011. And after Brenda's death, David turned his attention to supporting the four children. He'd had two sons, Josh and Dustin. Before he and his wife had met, Brenda meanwhile had a boy named Carter, and also from a previous relationship. Together, David and Brenda started a young son, named Max. The little boy was just two years old when his mother had passed. Brenda had died just 10 days after Max's second birthday. In fact, therefore, it was David's duty to keep his wife's memory alive for their son. Naturally, the first few months after Brenda's passing were tough on the family. However, as time moved on, the grief got slightly easier to handle. And David began to look to the future. And in October 2012, Brenda met a new woman, Jane Abraham. And as it happened, mom of two, Jane appeared to fit right into the Schmitz family. She even took on her own partner's children as her own, just as Brenda had hoped. What's more, there seemed to be another sign that Jane's relationship with David was meant to be. Specifically, that sign came with Jane inquired about a rainbow photograph in little Max's bedroom. And the conversation that followed confirmed to David that Jane was indeed the one. Explaining the story behind the photo, David revealed to CNN Brenda and Max's son was over the rainbow. They sang it together all the time. The dad continued, the day Brenda died, she passed away at 7 and 7 minutes a.m. We the day Brenda died, she passed away at 7.7 .7 a.m. We hadn't had any rain for five weeks straight. Out of the blue, a double rainbow as bright as can be stretched across the sky for miles. And David added, the local meteorologist said the rainbow was an anomaly since we hadn't had any rain. I knew it was Brenda. Then the widower revealed. After I told her the story, Jane looked through her phone and showed me a picture of the same double rainbow. It was then that David realized that Jane was the woman for him. What's more, the rainbow coincidence led him to believe that his new relationship had Brenda's blessing. So in September 2013, David proposed to Jane, and she said yes. Then in December 2013, radio station star 102.5 reached out to David, and the local broadcaster went on to tell the dad that someone had sent him and his family a Christmas wish. The identity of the mystery beneficator was initially kept a secret from David and his loved ones. When David got to the station, though he discovered that the kind gesture had come from his late wife Brenda, a month before she had died, Brenda had written her request down in a letter. She had then asked a friend to keep hold of the letter until David had gotten to know someone new. 
and when he had found new love. Brenda wanted the note to be sent in to start 102.5's Christmas wish program. And as it happened, Brenda had three wishes that she wanted the station to grant. First, she wanted a memorable trip for the whole family to enjoy. She also requested that, that a party be thrown for all the doctors and nurses who had taken care of her. And last but not least, she wanted to pamper Jane. Jane would need it, Brenda said, for being a stepmother to all these boys. As David listened to his late wife's words, tears rolled down his cheeks. After he had composed himself though, he told the station that he was a surprise to hear from Brenda from beyond the grave. The last year and a half, she's shown so many signs that she's still here, he revealed. So with the help of sponsor, the radio station granted all of Brenda's wishes. They sent her family on an all-expenses paid trip to Disney World. While there, Jane got enjoyed a massage. Meanwhile, back at the Mercy Medical Center in Des Moines, Steph received three food drop-offs from our local catering company. And with that, David and his family got to experience Brenda's love once more. Meanwhile, Jane got further confirmation that she was in the right place. That's because it was revealed that Brenda had also written a personal letter to David's new fiancé in which she explained how she had love for Jane, that Mrs. Intern would bring the other woman to tears, and as Jane told TNN, she was more than aware of Brenda's presence. She even talked to her from time to time. I know Brenda is definitely watching over us, Jane explained to the station. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell for more content like this.